Previously, we built and explained the concept of seeds. In this session, we will be building and explaining the remaining concepts mentioned in the previous session. So, let's continue. While showing the students the picture card of people celebrating Makar Sankranti, ask them to describe what is happening in the picture. The possible responses may be, people are dancing, celebrating a festival and so on. Inform the students that the people in the picture are celebrating Makar Sankranti. Then ask them, do you know why Makar Sankranti is celebrated? Let the students respond. Inform the students that the harvesting of plants is done during a specific time of the year, which is usually celebrated by the people. Further, state that Makar Sankranti is the festival during which people celebrate the harvesting of new crops. The celebration is done with bonfires, rallies, songs, dances, carnivals and kite flying. Now, inform the students that they have to do a work from home activity. The activity is for the students to ask their parents or elders about more regional festivals that celebrate harvest of new crops. Further, ask them to write a paragraph about the same in their notebooks as it will be discussed in the next class. Conclude the class by discussing that seeds are very essential for growing new plants and they can be preserved in many different ways. Also, discuss with the students that many festivals exist which celebrate the harvest. With this, by implementing the zero investment innovative idea of what's in the picture, we built and explained the concept of customs and festivals related to crops. In the next session, we will be implementing this innovative idea to explain to the students the concept of major changes and development in farming. Curious to know more? Then tune in to our next session.